hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you the next method that is the second method of accessing the values of form in the action first method we saw parameterize method then the second method is context object for get or the post method parameterized way is the same thing that means we do not have to change anything if we are using parameterized method of accessing the data whether your request is of type get or post whereas if you are working with context object it differs if you are working with get then you need to use the context object that is nothing but query string which is present in the class request or the object request so i should use request dot query string so first of all let us see this accessing the values with the help of context object when the method is get so i'll change the method it is post i'll change it to get if i am changing it to get that means now my key value pairs those are nothing but the parameters that i have it will be in query string i need to simply remove from it here and i'll say string name equals to request dot query string of pass the value or the key name key name is n underscore name dot to string same way i can read the age equals to request dot query string of n underscore age dot to string i need to pass it to int as usual i'll say int dot pass that's it i got the name and the age i'll just assign name and age in this way if you have n number of parameters you can read it in the same sense you can just pass the key and you can extract the value and store it in a variable this should perform the same operation that we did earlier this should insert a record now i'll pass the values as azhar and the age as 45 and i'll say submit it is of type get so you can observe the key value pairs in the url that is nothing but the query string i'll stop this let me go to the server and check whether the record got inserted or not so right click as i show table data here it is i get the record azhar and age 45 so this is very simple if you want to access the data with the help of context object and your type is get then use request dot query string and access the values with the help of keys so in our next video we will see what to do if my type is of post so we will see this in our next video thank you very much